for Mr. Randall Lopez. <laughs> Okay. Please put your grandma to bed before y'all go out at night. You gotta put her to sleep first. Y'all know they you sneak out. Nah, you ain't no grandma. You younger than that. Did you flash somebody tonight, though? See, that's like the whole 80 of the family. You know you always got that whole 80. She ain't never had a boyfriend or husband. She come out around every family reunion with her man friend and shit. Fuck is your man friend? He died. He died. So you single, huh? Yeah. You have to do whatever you want. That's what I'm doing. Oh my God. Got leopard panties on. Nice ass. <laughs> Your panties need to come with a belt on them because you should not be able to just drop the motherfuckers like that. What is wrong? <laughs> Put y'all grandma to bed for y'all go out at night. You follow you to the bar. That's a bullshit. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Lady D. Lady D. Lady D. Oh, Nebraska. Nebraska? Y'all give it up. Give it up for Lady D. <laughs> Tonight we give you a nickname, you Funky D, okay? You just funky it up. Y'all give it up for Funky D, that's a new name. <laughs> White people, I'm glad y'all came out tonight, because guess what, motherfucker? We got to have a talk. <laughs> Let me tell you, why the fuck is it easy to get out north than it is to get out south? All that road construction. Y'all call it road construction. I call it road conspiracy. This is some bullshit. Y'all trying to trap all the black people out north. This is some mother... Come next year, it's going to be Northside Island and shit. You're going to have to catch a ferry to get out south and shit. Fuck y'all. I know what y'all doing. I ain't putting that shit on me. I'm moving out of town. You just moved here? your plane to get back because you was too much for toss all right a wasso how the wasso police on stand by because she is out of control is you from a wasso you live now where are you traveling from outside she one of them old vermont tricks she like pull up to the gate daddy pull up to the gate i'll be out there pull up to the gate I heard Vermont had a sign out front that said, Welcome home. Ain't that about a bitch? I feel like it should be two signs. One that say, Thank you for visiting Tulsa, and the other one say, Welcome to a whole other world, because that's some bullshit. <laughs> I hope y'all went to church today since y'all came out and shit. Y'all go to church up in the bar on Sunday night. My grandma used to always say, if you can stay out all night, you can get up for church in the morning. One in the morning, I woke up with a bad hangover. I called her up and said, bitch, you don't know what you're talking about. Because <laughs> I ain't going to make it. Fuck that. But on a serious note, I'm kind of sad, though, because there's a lot of fucked up shit going on in the world. People dying. Ain't it fucked up? Ain't it fucked up to know that people dying at Best Buy? in Walmart, but them ugly bitches that work at the Dollar Tree is still alive. What the fuck is going on? It's one that works at the Dollar Tree on City First and Memorial. I just want to shoot that bitch in the face every time I see her. That bitch. I know that motherfucker like, damn, you don't get a day off, bitch. You always at work. It's your ugly ass. <laughs> They fucking with fast food restaurants. They is always fucking with what the fuck. Let's see, white people. They always fuck. Oh, that's gay people. Anybody gay in the house? What's the problem? 
fucking with Chick-fil-A. Y'all know that chicken is too damn good to be fucked with. Y'all's no match for Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna let you know now. They, they, CEO can, they CEO can come on TV and say that they hate niggas. We'll be all rallying and shit, but as soon as they start offering us free chicken sandwiches, we'll be like, okay, y'all cool, but don't let that shit happen again. <laughs> <laughs> y'all should have learned y'all listen from fucking with McDonald's. But see, Chicken Filet, Chick Fil A, they nice. McDonald's is some assholes. Cause y'all was fucking with McDonald's. What y'all tell McDonald's to do? Take away the super size. They took that shit away, but just changed the name. That pissed y'all off like a motherfucker. We told you to take away. They motherfucker said we did. No, you still serve it. Um, do we offer it on the menu? <laughs> No, you don't. Well, shit. They changed that shit to large. Should you got ass? That shit is still super sized like a motherfucker. Just a large fry. You don't eat McDonald's. You go in there every now and then. Hang out with the old niggas drinking coffee. That's what you do. She be like, this ain't no decaf. You don't know what you want. Oh. <laughs> they got money. Hell no, nah, they don't got money. McDonald's? Don't you think they'll be drinking coffee at Red Lobster or some shit? Not McDonald's? They stingy. Well, how you gonna get some money if they stingy? No, you gotta, cause you gotta let an extra stir in your coffee, huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Funky D. <laughs> All kind of fucked up shit going on in the world. Tell them about it, Funky D. <laughs> what about Sandusky? Talk your way into it? To get their money? Hell yeah. Hell, what you be saying to them? I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm trying to think if you're doing less talking. Your mouth be open, but don't shit be coming out. Tell the truth now. <laughs> shit just be going in. <laughs> yeah, I know about your girls with them slick hair and them hoop earrings. You ain't shit to be fucking with. <laughs> I know you be twerking it, because you didn't flash me too easy. You only knew me for two seconds and showed me your ass. <laughs> so I know... <laughs> What you up at McDonald's doing for them old niggas drinking coffee? Come on. <laughs> she the new super size. I want a super size. Oh, they bring out Funky D and shit wrapped up. <laughs> yeah, I love popping my collar. Are you? Are you? You ain't got no collar, so you popping your bra strap. That's a new one, y'all. <laughs> the next time a motherfucker fuck with you, pop your bra strap on his ass. Tell him Funky D sent you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody out here dating? <laughs> Not a soul, y'all. See with this motherfucker? It's hard to date shit, because a motherfucker like me, I don't know what you bitches be talking about. Y'all shit be so confusing. I even called Rosetta Stone to help me out. They bitch said she's still working on it. I don't know what the fuck y'all be talking about. A girl got mad at me earlier because she called me an Indian giver because I wanted my shit back. I don't give a fuck. If you fuck up, you fucked up. When I was buying you shit, I was under the, under the impression you would keep me doing that same old shit. But if we break up and shit, I mean, everything is over. I need my stuff back. Y'all think cause y'all gave a nigga, y'all think y'all cause y'all gave a nigga a little bit of pussy. That's a, oh, a lot, even a lot. Y'all think that's payment. That's payment? Okay, every time I go to the store, they ask me cash or credit. Pussy ain't never been an option, okay? <laughs> Because if pussy was an option for payment, a lot of you females in here will be in some fucked up situations. Let your boyfriend be in Best Buy and be a couple dollars short. 
That motherfucker come running back out to the car. Uh, baby, I was trying to buy this TV and uh, I'm a few dollars short. I was trying to see you got your pussy on you.